Ron Rossetti Pitt with the uh, infamous Gil Osi Jr. Gil, I commented on your guys' friendship, you and Ron, for so long. And uh, you guys are just having a blast, and he bumped it up. He did it again. He's, the, he's a great driver. Had a lot of bad luck in practice, you know. You had to run that first wet heat, and then he had problems with his radios all week because of it. And So he's just getting it together and starting to have fun. Well, that's awesome. That's what it's all about. And uh, Ron Rossetti is going to try to continue his run for his world championship. Yep. And so people know, I think Ron and I have been friends longer than most of these people have been racing. No doubt about it. Well, good luck. Appreciate, uh, appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Gil O.C. Jr. from the Ron Rossetti pit. We're going to see if we can track down a few words with Ron. Coming down off the driver's stand right now. Everybody giving him a high five, Ron. Way to go. We're live here on LiveRC.com. Everybody, A team giving him a boy. I was just talking to Gil. You guys are longtime friends. A great job, obviously, but your friendship has got to make this even more enjoyable. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of fun racing with Gil. I mean, Gil and I have been doing it for a long time and, you know, started being his best man at his wedding, and now here we are racing still after all these years. Now you've gone through a lot of changes, obviously, in your career with Losi and, and now with Kyosho, but uh, the Red Army's got a great team here. Oh, yes, we do. We have a really good team. The tires are really doing well also. Um, everything's going great. It's, it's so much fun. I mean, I had some bad luck in qualifying, put me in the bottom mains, but we're going to try bumping up as far as we can. Just keep going. That's it. You got two under your belt. You think you can do another one? Yeah, really, the way the car's running right now, I think I can get another one. It just kind of got in the middle there. I got a little bit complacent let people catch back up but when they told me fourth place still had a good lead i just kept going well that's awesome wish you best luck in your next race thanks a lot we'll see you later all right aaron this is not the interview i was hoping to give here with uh with you hoping uh you were sitting in a transfer spot but had some problems what happened i i think my motor just may have broken in that race and uh enriched up a little bit and it still made very good power but i flamed out after the first pit stop and then probably about a lot before the second pit stop, just before the finish line. Uh, that's uh, That kind of puts a damper on the week, but uh, did you still have a good time? I had a great time. I, I would say that for the time that I spent preparing for this race, I had the lowest amount of success I've ever had. Uh, problems all through qualifying with things that I just couldn't control. And then again in, the main, uh, in that final, flaming out a couple times, but it's been a really good event. This facility is awesome. Uh, it's been really cool to to see uh, the program that they've run here, and it'll be cool to watch a world champion get crowned tomorrow. That is going to be awesome. But I guess the flip side of this is now that you're kind of done with your racing, you get to do the other reason you're here, and that's to, to cover the event for RC Car. That's true. Uh, Stephen Bess and Charles Sharon are also here, uh, my boss and our advertising executive. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate that They've uh, been holding down the magazine side of it, so I've been able to focus on racing, even though it, it didn't have the best of luck this week. But uh, now I get to go take pictures and talk to people and hand out business cards, so it'll be a lot of fun. Well, that's awesome. Glad you had a good time, and thanks for all uh, you and RC Car Magazine does for LiveRC.com. And thank you for everything LiveRC does for the RC industry in general. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you. Aaron Waldron, the class act. Unfortunately, his uh, race for the world championship is over, but uh, the right attitude, a positive attitude, he had a good experience, and uh, that's always good to see when uh, bad luck happens to a driver. Of the of all the people that we didn't expect to see in the top 10, we knew he was good, we knew he had the talent, but to qualify 10th at the world championship, Matt Gosh. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, uh, just hanging out today, getting ready for the race tomorrow, and hopefully uh, get up there in the main. Well, you made the semis, which is obviously the first step in this ladder that everybody's climbing. And, and you and your dad, I got to say a few words uh, with your dad was he, when he was in the pits. I interrupted him during the, right after one of the pit stops. But uh, you, you guys got to be just absolutely proud for the, how you've climbed in the last couple years of 8-scale racing. Yeah, we've definitely been working hard, practicing, and, and running with Josh Wheeler quite a bit at home. And, I mean, every little practice we do helps out, you know, a lot and just – all my sponsors have been great this week, everything. So, who, uh, who, Why don't you tell everybody, you know, everybody that helps you? Uh, Jammin products for the car, Byron Fuels, Proline Tires, Futaba, HT Batteries, Upgrade RC, uh, A-Main Hobbies helps out. I mean, there's just so many people. My mom, my dad, my sister, Aaron Pucci helps with my pits, and it's just been great. 
Well, it's awesome. Uh, no matter what happens from here, you know, even if things don't work out in the semis, uh, to qualify 10th at the World Championship, your name is known now. Everybody knows who Matt Gosh is, and uh, we just wish you the best of luck. Thanks. All right, we're down here with uh, Adrian Bertine. Awesome, awesome run. Two laps on the field. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm completely mistake the qualification. So now I, I just try to enjoy and uh, take the um, confidence with the track as I, I drive very few buggy. So now keep on practicing. For me, it's a good practice. Oh, that's good. That's good. Obviously, your main focus here is to support the uh, the team drivers with the CRF engines, and uh, obviously things are going well. Uh, yeah, yes, mainly it's my. He also makes some tests just to make sure everything is uh, working well and uh, keep on concentrate on uh, Ryan, Taylor and Jan Newman for uh, trying to get the best results at home. Exactly. Well, good job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, we're down here uh, live in pit lane. We're with Brandon Melton, uh, uh, local guy. This is your kind of home track and you're here helping Chris Pace uh, pit for his final. Uh, what's the strategy going out for him? He's definitely faster than what he's qualified. So I think really it's, I told him, I said, keep it on four wheels. It's only top four, you don't have to win the thing. You're gonna bump if you keep it on all four, so what you really need to do is just keep it in a position to where you take care of the car for the next race and then possibly the next race after that. So don't be the fastest guy, just get the job done and we'll take care of you on pit road. So. What's, uh, what's the pit strategy? One, two, what, uh, when you coming in? Two stops, um, 20 minute race, it's not worth it trying it on one stop. Um, you run out and as big as the track is, you lose three laps instead of trying to save, you know, three seconds. So, two stops, probably seven, fourteen, or we want him to come in when there's not a lot of other cars on pit road. So we might bring him in at six and then run him to fourteen. He, you know, he can go eight or nine minutes easily. So as long as it's under eight, we're fine. Are you happy with your qualifying uh, for this year's world? Yes and no. Um, <laughs> We, we put a lot of laps in here, you know, like you said, we it's our home track, but, you know, Lance only runs about six races a year, so it's not like we're here every week, you know, like, like some people may think. Sure. But um, you always want to do better at home. A little bit of issues in the mud. We're not used to running on that. Other guys are more experienced, but uh, to be in the top 50% in the world's first time out, hindsight, you probably, you know, it's not that bad, but you always want a little more. So. Well, we wish you luck uh, on your pit stops and for your mains. All right, yeah, I'll be up here in about three races, so All right. we're going to give it heck. All right, go get him, Brandon Melty. You heard it right from there. And we're here with Aaron Pucci. He's uh, pitting for Corey Crossley from Illinois. What's the strategy for Corey? Strategy for Corey is just keep it on his wheels. Corey's a good driver, and I think if he just keeps his car on his wheels, he, he's bound to bump up. That's all we want. He's one of the top drivers there from Leisure Hours in uh, Joliet, Illinois. Struggled a bit in qualifying. Was it uh, just bad luck or uh, nerves being his first world championship? It's mostly nerves. He had a little bit of bad luck, but Corey's normally rock solid, and that's all we're looking for. All right, what's the pitch strategy? Uh, when are you coming in? Pit strategies, we're going to have to stick it to seven minutes. He's, he can't push it too much, so we're going to stick it there, and uh, he should have no problems. Awesome. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Man, yeah, awesome run. Awesome run. Uh, trying some new things out for that run on your jamming car. Tell us about it. Yeah, I changed my setup completely from qualifying. I had a rough start uh, in practice and qualifying because of the way that they shuffled. So I was the first race the first day, and it was in the worst conditions, and I didn't finish any of them. And then the, third, the second round, I had issues as well. So I'm just trying to bump, but my car feels really good. The tires, the new Pro-Line tires, when I'm running the revolvers, are awesome, and everything's working out. Hopefully my car just stays together, for, and I can keep bumping. That's, that's the goal. No doubt, no doubt to keep moving on away. Uh, Rick down in the pits, good stop. I asked him about the five-minute stops. He said, you're just taking it easy. You'll push it when you have to. That's the kind of strategy you guys are going with. Yeah, just be conservative. I don't want to have, I don't want to lose it on something stupid like that, and there's a lot of stuff out there that I'm not going for uh, simply because I don't need to right now. I'm just trying to play it safe and trying to just move up the brackets. There's a lot of good drivers here. And ultimately, I'm just honored to represent Jammin and ProLine and everybody and representing the USA and everybody at Live RC is just doing a fantastic job. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Chad Bradley. Thank you very much. We wish you luck in your next bump. Thank you guys so much. All right. We're down here with Mike Garrison as he comes uh, off the lift. Uh, this one wasn't meant to be, but uh, it was a heck of a run today. Awesome run. Everything worked good. I uh, want to thank X-Ray, Panther Tires, MBR Racing, uh, Sidewinder Fuel, 
uh, Team Dirtbags Racing, everybody, all the jamming guys, they've been helping me out all weekend long, which was absolutely awesome. Uh, Lance Nork, the whole crew, what a race, what a race. Uh, I mean, it's it's obviously important to have a good time and uh, all the links that the, the farm here went to uh, accommodate and everything. Obviously, you're appreciative and just made for a, just a, a wonderful, wonderful event. Oh, yeah, and if the racing's not good enough, this is a pretty fun ride on the way up and down, so... <laughs> Well, outstanding. Hey, we're going to have you in the booth a little later this afternoon. you got a good story to tell uh, about some things in your life, and I'd uh, love to have you in the Spectrum Broadcast Center a little later. Absolutely. Sounds good. Thank you very much. All right. There you go. All right. So we're back here with Mike Harrison, and uh, I was just asking you, Mike, you had a, had a bit of a rough luck there in that last one, not able to continue your, your climb to the championship, and uh, but uh, but you've had uh, a good day today. Oh, it's been a fantastic day. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, believe it or not, People say RC cars don't take uh, physical abilities and whatnot, and I tell you what, where's Yacht being up there for so long? So oh, I, I believe it. It's kind of a relief to come down. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you've been racing for, racing's kind of been in your blood from when you started with RC cars, and you, you got into motocross and then ran motocross for a while. Yep, yep. I actually started racing RC cars when I was about five years old at uh, Real RC Raceway in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, and uh, got out of that about the age of six and raced motocross for 13 years, and uh, had some high hopes of going pro with motocross and ended up getting hurt, uh, broke my back and stretched my spinal cord in August of 06. And uh, shortly after that, kind of got back into the RC scene. And uh, so we've been racing a couple years and going from there. Well, that, that's cool that you're able to, to keep racing. Uh, now with, with your injury and things like that, uh, there was some uh, treatments and stuff like that that are done in the world but not allowed or legal or, or whatever the term is here in the United States. And uh, you had to go other places to, to get this treatment done. Tell the folks back home about it. Uh, actually, we went to, it would have been last year, we went over to China and uh, they took some bone marrow from my hip and grew my own stem cells. And three weeks later, they went in, injected them in my spinal cord, and we're starting to see little bits of results here and there. Well, that's awesome. So um, are, are you able to, uh, you know, start to get movement and, and, and start, uh, you know, getting in through therapy, obviously? Yep. Yeah, and actually, uh, they told me originally when I got hurt, they said, hey, you're done. You know, you're, you'll be pretty much how you lay in this bed here. And I said, you got to be kidding me. You know, this is crazy. And uh, just before we came out here, I was actually able to crawl 50 feet in about 30 minutes. So getting a little bit of movement here and there and uh, just hoping for the best. Oh, that that's awesome. Uh, um, obviously, you go through therapy. I have to assume every day, uh, three times a week, three times a week. And I know it wouldn't be possible. Obviously, racing wouldn't be possible with all of the people here. But I've got a great family back home, wonderful friends, uh, everybody from our local tracks helping us out all the time. Uh, Timberline RC Raceway, Real RC Raceway, everybody helping us out, supporting us, um, you know, on and off the track. So it, it works out really good. Keeps me going. Oh, that's good. Uh, obviously, in life, uh, people get dealt situations in their life. Some people treat them with their glasses half empty. Some people look at it half full. Obviously, in the short time I've known you this week, you can tell you're a half full guy. You keep a positive attitude, and that, that has to help in your advancement through this. I, you know, I really think so. There's, there's so many people out there, not just with spinal cord injuries, just everything, cancer. It could be anything from even a tough marriage, you know. I think anything's possible. It's up to you to prove it, and uh, you just got to keep a smile on your face and keep going. Well, that's uh, that should be a, a key for a lot of people to to take from your situation and and be able to hopefully add something to their own life to to stay positive because it's so important. Yep, it's absolutely. I think in anything, being positive, even up there on the driver's stand, if you're not feeling positive, it's probably not going to go so well for you. That's for sure. Oh, that that's awesome. That's the right attitude. You also have uh, something else you do to to keep you busy and uh, tell everybody about uh, your design company. Uh, yes, I am actually the owner of 247 Design Works. We do custom wraps and wings and. Uh, sponsor sheets, all that kind of good stuff. There's a lot of really great companies out there, so it's really hard to compete with those guys. But uh, right after I got hurt, our local painter, he quit painting bodies, and so I said, ah, oh, that'll be no problem. I bought an airbrush, went to paint everything. It's been about six hours painting a body, and when I took the masking off, I said, oh my gosh, that's going straight to the trash can. So <laughs> we, uh, we started doing the 247 Design Works. We do motocross graphics, RC stuff. Um, Anything you can put a sticker on, we'll do it. So uh, our website is www.247designworks.net. So definitely, uh, those of you guys out there want to check it out. It's uh, it's slow, and, and we're trying to build on it. And like I say, there's a lot of great companies out there doing some awesome work. So uh, props to them, and we learn from them every day, that's for sure. Well, that's awesome. That website address again? It's www.247designworks.net. 
All right, well, there you go, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you spending a, a few moments and, and being part of the world and, and keeping a positive attitude. Uh, hopefully, that sets an example for a lot of people. I hope so, too. And once again, I just want to thank everybody back home here at the track, all the sponsors. What a great event. What a great event. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mike. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. All right, there's another story here from the World Championships. Everybody's participating in the Farm 2, working hard to make sure everybody, no matter what the situation, can take part in the World Championships. Jamming Jay Halsey, jamming, working with Chad Bradley right now. He's trying to continue his streak of never missing a final. So far, he's doing very well in this main. Yeah, he's running real well in this main, Chad. Had some bad breaks. You know, we had the bad weather early on, the mud. Everybody had that, but he had some really bad breaks. We had a few part failures, but... Uh, Hopefully we can keep bumping up. He had a really big lead in this race, so we've been short pitting him, not taking a chance. So hopefully he can make it up a few more mains here. Awesome. Hey, we just, everybody's got in line. We got over 3,000 people. We just want to pass on our thanks to Offna and Jammin for making this event happen. It's just great of you guys. Uh, thanks very much. We're real proud to be one of the title sponsors. And uh, I, I really want to thank Lance and Gus for the event that they put on and IFMAR and Live RC for covering this and making this all happen and, and all the sponsors and even the guys that aren't the sponsors. Without the manufacturers not supporting this event, no, it wouldn't be an event, you know, so I, I'm, again, I'm really proud to be one of the sponsors of it. Well, it's great to have you here. You're a legend in our industry and I appreciate your continued support. Thanks for your time. All right, go back to work. We're here with Mr. Walker and uh, not to tell us, tell us what you're feeling right now. Well, pretty much I'm disappointed. Like, all I had to do was land that, and it just flipped over. I don't understand. It's just, I did it so long for 20 minutes, you know, I only crashed there once, and it's just figured last lap I had to crash. Well, yeah, you gave it a good run. Uh, sorry, about, uh, sorry about that, but uh, uh, good job anyway, so. Thanks. All right. Lars, uh, you never give up, man. You were down to seventh or eighth. Your pit men were still cheering on you. Way to pull it out. Thanks. That was, uh, I mean, that's a testament to the car. I mean, I just try to drive it and not make any mistakes, and everything worked. Everything worked. So, And uh, good pit stops by the team, and then you took it nice and easy the last uh, last couple sections. Yeah, Philip got me out the last time, and I was kind of looking at the clock, and I'm like, all right, I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, it was close enough, five feet. That's all it needed to do was roll that much at the end. So it was good pit stops all together. Well, good job, man. We'll see you uh, in your next one. Thank you. One of many interviews. Uh, you, you started your race, last race you made the bump, now number two. Yeah, it yeah, feels good. I'm just out there. I'm trying different lines right now and seeing if I, I could drive my car without crashing but still go fast. So I'm out there during the run trying different things. And I'm trying to listen to lap times when I come by. So I'm just kind of trying uh, stuff with the jumps. and. Uh, but the, the, the important thing is being consistent and not wrecking, you know, especially Today they got these these new marshals out here, so you really don't want to crash. So it's really important not to crash. That'll just that'll just kill your run. Wrecking's the worst, you know. And I'm just trying to find a pace where I know I'm not going to wreck and, and it's still fast. Well, you've uh, got a good streak of making the finals. You got a long way to go. We wish you the best of luck. I know. I want to keep. I'm going for four, four in a row. All right. Good luck, Chad Bradley. Jamming ride. Your boy's got uh, got some work to do in front of him. Qualifying wasn't the best for him, but uh, we definitely know he can do it. No doubt. We're ready for him. You're running the brand new O'Donnell car. Only a couple guys here running. So far, it's doing all right. Uh, anything uh, anything special strategy going into this main? Uh, we're just going to keep the hammer down, and hopefully we'll come to the front. Uh, how long on a pit stop? Seven to seven and a half minutes. All right, there you heard it. Z01B from O'Donnell. In this one, Steve Hartson. Let's see if he can move it to the front. Dakota first. Tough luck in the main, but... Uh, yeah. You stayed in it, and you qualified so well. you got to be proud of yourself for your first world championship. Yeah, it was really fun. It was just really for experience. Well, you did a good job. Your, your mom and dad had a good time. We're all proud of you. Good job. Thank you. All right, young Dakota Fenn. He's already a champion. I can't say future champion, but maybe someday a world champion. All right, come here, Steve. We're live. Man, oh, man, you jumped the start a little bit, a little anxious, a little nervous. You came in for your stop and go. You kept your composure, and you had a great race there at the end. And tell us about that pass at the end. Um, it was pretty hard at the end. I was just glad I got it. So, Well, you made a good move. Got him just at the line by a couple car lengths. Now you got to go get ready for your next man. Good luck. Thanks. All right, Steve Hartson driving the old Donald car. Good move at the final corner. You could hear him cheering from the pit lane. So we'll see how Steve does in his next one. All right, we're down here in Jason's pit with P-Dub Paul Wynn. He's got, uh, got a big mountain to climb here to uh, work his way up. Uh, anything special uh, going out for this one? 
Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, we're just kind of trying tires a little bit. Um, it's going to be 20 minute final. Try something that's going to wear a little longer and uh, still provide some performance and uh, see what happens. What tires are you guys going out with for this one? We're going with the new crosswires okay. and see how those uh, see how those go with the yellow compound. And uh, yeah, should be good. All right. How long is he going on a fuel stop? Um, we haven't really decided. Probably five to seven minutes. Okay. All right. Wish you the best. Thank you. All right, Paul. P Dub. Paul Win. All right, we're down here with Jam and Jay Halsey again. Down here again, thrash on Chad Bradley. He's working his way to the ultimate goal. Anything different? Same strategy going on for this one? Uh, maybe we might have to stretch the fuel stops this time. Uh, the last two races, Chad had a pretty big lead, so we short stopped him because there's no reason to risk it. But uh, same deal, same car. We charge the receiver pack, and we'll probably have to stretch a little bit longer. As you bump up, the guys are getting faster and faster, so you can't lose another seven eight seconds be time when you come in the pit all right wish you the best of luck thank you all right chad bradley continuing his climb up the ladder trying to make the semis i know you got to go but we got to get a word for you that was an awesome battle you never gave up you were down to sixth and seventh spot but you made it yes i made it i a little bit of luck but i'm keep on pushing and uh, finally i made it all right i can keep on going playing all right i know ron said he's in there gluing tires for you yeah. so good luck thank all right adrian bertine representing luxembourg here uh, officially from France, but racing for Luxembourg. Oh man, with with about fifth with about 50 feet to go, I didn't know if you were gonna make it. I you know you know what on that last fuel stop, uh, I I lost all my rear brakes. That's why record actually let me go by, and then I just went down the end of the back straightaway, and I'd go to hit the brakes like normal, and it's like nothing there. <laughs> hit a rut and just went cartwheeling. So I think I gotta change the servo now. All right, well, I know you got some thrashing, dude, so good luck. Another bump up. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. All right, Chad Bradley in his jamming. He's jamming his way up the ladder. With young Ty Tessman, the Hot Bodies teammates, you and Jesse running one, two. You were very smart out there. You knew you didn't have to win. Very, very good driving. Tell us about the run. It's really good. It's a little slick, but everything went good. And then in the last laps, I'm broke, so I had to finish, but I still got it. So. And you still finished, right? Yep. All right, well, welcome to racing on Sunday. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. All right, Jesse Roberts right here with the whoa hairdo. You and Ty, many times out there, you gave him a little room when he needed it. No need to battle with him. Very smart driving. Yeah, we just had to keep it clean and finished because we had a good lead on third and fourth. So no point in racing and breaking each other or crashing and losing the transfer spot. Exactly, exactly right. So a good start. Hot bodies for tomorrow. Travis Amescu, peanuts already in the semi. You guys got a couple more races. You think you can do it? Yeah. All right, that's what it takes. Confidence. Way to go, Jesse. Thank you. Daniel Record here from Germany. Daniel, that was one hell of a drive. Outstanding. Yeah, it was fine and had a lot of luck. And now I have a better feeling before the qualification. And we see you. Uh, we see you tomorrow much more can be for the speed more. And I hope that we can make it once again more in uh, the next final. Well, you did. I uh, had very good pit stops, very smart driving out there. You were patient when you had pressure. Y you got to be uh, very proud of your performance. <laughs> yes, I smile on the podium because in the qualification it was not so fine for me. And now I'm very happy that we speed is there and driving without many so many mistakes and we see us tomorrow. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of people online from Germany watching. Why don't you say a few things in your native language to them? Ah, hallo Deutschland. Ich bin hier in Amerika, Charlotte, und ich wünsche euch auch, dass ihr morgen die Traum drückt. Und All right, thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, see you tomorrow. Jay, Chad got a little, looked a little scary there at the start, but he kept up on the wheel and he was able to do it again. Yeah, he uh, had some problems at the beginning there, but fell into a little bit slower, but a consistent pace, and uh, we made it to tomorrow. So a couple more, and hopefully we get to that semi and get into the main. So now I'm proud of the guys and. Uh, Tracks coming around our cars, so I'm happy about it. Now, uh, when I was announcing in the booth, got a little worried there. He came in for a fuel stop, a little bit too fast out. Boy, that was a terrible lap, but uh, did you holler up anything to him to, to just calm him down? No, nah, I mean, they do their job. We, we uh, holler up like time intervals, how close, you know, the next bump up uh, and stuff like that, but they know their deal, so I don't tell them how to drive. They don't tell us how to pit. <laughs> there you go. Well, good luck tomorrow. All right, thanks. Hey, I want to thank uh, all of our sponsors helping us out here too. Afna, Hungnor, Proline, uh, Chad's running OS engines, but Proline, you know, he's run that new uh, tire that just came out, the revolver tire that's been working excellent here. So thanks again. All right, good luck tomorrow, Jay. Jam and Jay Halsey, a legend in the business, working with Chad Bradley. Chad right now bumped up, I don't know, three, four, five, eight times today, whatever it was, but he's made it to Sunday. He's got a couple more to keep his streak of making the finals alive.